My parents are going really ham that I'm becoming 30. I could I talked to my dad today and he was like, You're getting 30 soon. Oh, I have a big surprise for you. Like, oh, fuck no. And my mom, you're becoming 30 soon. Oh, we're gonna have a big party. And like, what? I really, really, I, I mean this though. I'm not even acting. I hate birthdays, man. I hate birthdays. I, I, I swear to God, I mean this. I, I, I don't want any gifts. I don't want to see anyone. I hate fucking birthdays. It's like people are forced to celebrate you for one day. I hate that. It's so fake. You know, if you want to show someone you love them or give them a gift, just do it whenever. I wonder why we culturally don't celebrate death days. Like, someone that you love died 1st of January. So every 1st of January, you have a little... A little... I mean, people do that, right? They have a little... Oh, la, 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 la. Yeah, actually, yeah, we have one death day in Germany. True. True. I also always wondered why... Man, it would be so much cooler if our cultures would celebrate death more. Like, it's... Like when someone dies, you don't go to church and cry. You you go to church and cry, but you celebrate their life. You're like drinking and, and listening to good music and having fun, man. When I die one day, I want everybody that's left, I want them to be happy and be and celebrate, right? I know, not that I died, but an Irish funeral does that. Coffin dance? <laughs> that's weird. Depends on culture. Many cultures do that, I think. And the number one thing I never understood about human culture is why is there religion why is there no religion about the sun? I never understood that. We all make up our own religions to control people. Uh, there's Muhammad and Jesus and Buddha and stuff. I never understood why in thousands of years of human... I know there was, I know, I know all you big brains. I know there was fucking sun prey religions. I'm saying, why is it not, why it never became a main religion with billions of people? That's, I never got that. Because I would legit be religious if our main religion would be the sun. Dude, they could still have the priests and the taxes. Okay, but at least I would be like, hey, the sun actually gives me life. Oh, alhamdulillah, Junge, I'm with you. I never understood that. I would actually fucking be in the sun religion, bro. I would actually respect it. The sun exists and gave us life. I gotta show my respect, bro. Boy up. Never understood that. I, and I think it's because you have to make up your own religions in the Middle Ages because you want to control people. So you have to make up your own rules. How is the sun going to make up rules? How do you tell peasants the sun says you can only have one wife and if you steal, we're going to cut your hands off. Also, you have to pay tax, otherwise you go to hell. Yes, abortion is illegal. The sun doesn't say that. The sun is just... Bum, bum, bum. Right? I hereby call out the new sun religion. And one day we're all gonna be sun uh, preachers. Cause the AI, AI will take over Earth, it's inevitable. Machines will take over. And you know what's gonna save us in the end? It's a so solar flare. A solar flare is gonna go to Earth and kill all the AI. And we're fucking, the final humans are uh, back, right? Ah, we're fucking dying, only 10K left. And then all the machines fall over. And then we're gonna, even then, I think the human race will not pray to the sun. A sun flare killing, an AI rebellion killing the human race, the humans will still not pray to the sun. Don't you agree? Thank God, Alhamdulillah, we fucking did the uh, machine rebellion. And the sun is like, man, I. I sent you a fucking solar flare and you still don't pray to me. Anyway, I believe in the sun, guys. That's my religion. That's my religion, boy. We should make our own religion, chat. Promise I'm a ginger, right? The sun kind of wants to kill me, so how, how, the how does that make sense? Imagine the sun religion would have been real. There probably would have been a genocide against gingers. Because the sun wants to burn them. And if your god wants to burn someone, you gotta fucking crusade them. May the sun rule forever. Gentlemen, wouldn't the sunburn be a blessing? <laughs> I received the blessing of the sun. It is called melanome cancer. <laughs> I'm gonna die by the time I'm 40. Thank you, sun. Well, you could also celebrate the moon. Isn't the moon uh, actually important for Earth? Like it, it protects us and it also gives us the tides and shit. You should also pray to Jupiter or Saturn. One of the one of these planets, Jupiter or Saturn, their gravitational field is always pulling asteroids away from us, right? We should also pray to that. Like, this is legit stuff that happens. They legit, Jupiter, Jupiter and the sun and the moon, they actually protect us. No one prays to them. We pray to fucking some fake bullshit. So awkward. Makes you think. Imagine aliens look at us, man, and they are all praying to the universe. Because the universe is truly, the universe exists and you can't understand it. You know, it's legit a god. And aliens are like, man, these fuckers came up with their own fucking shit. What the fuck's wrong with them? I always like these religions that are really undemanding. Like, you know, Buddhism or hell, stuff where you just do 
Just a little cultural respect, you know, I, I, I used to be often in a Vietnamese restaurant and they would always put an apple to a statue of Buddha every day. And that's it, man. No taxes, no fucking church, no fucking do this, do that. Just here's the apple. Respect to my fucking ancestors. Man. What is provenly out of your mind? Godly, you know? Jesus, God, Muhammad, Allah, blah, blah, blah. Can't prove that shit. What is actually proven? It's the universe. The sun exists and death exists. And I always, that brings me back to my main question. I always wondered why religion and culture is not more about the universe and death. I think because humans can't handle it. It blows our brains. We want to have, oh, this is Jesus. He was at the cross. He, oh, yeah, I love him. Because th that makes sense to you, right? Okay, I get the story. But fucking black holes and Big Bang and shit and fucking hydrogen. You're like, what the fuck? I can pray to this shit. But I always felt about this. The universe and death. It's like the two entities you truly, no matter how hard you try, will never be able to grasp in your, in your brain.